Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm about to show you how you can create your own custom sidechain effect by using the Shaper audio effect with utility in Ableton Live. This is going to be something like the LFO tool, audio effect or Shaper box. These are third-party plugins that are often used to create the same effect. So let's listen to this track and then we'll take a look at the effect that I'm talking about. And this effect is especially uh, present on this ride. If you increase it, you can hear that it's really present. Okay, so before we get into the details of how to make this volume pump rack, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. We've got a lot more coming up on the channel make sure to check the description for the sample pack that was used to create this track and make sure to check out the description for the sample pack that was used to create this track it's a brand new pack called deep premium volume 6 deep and organic which consists of over a thousand drum hits and loops we've created it with some amazing artists so it's definitely worth checking out okay so let's get started we have a bunch of really nice symbol patterns here and we're using this shaper this volume pump rack to add a bit of volume automation, sidechain compression, so basically this ducking effect. There's the obvious method of doing it, which involves taking a compressor, turning on the sidechain mode so that it ducks whenever the kick hits. But this way, if you do it with shaper and utility, you get even more control over the sound and you don't get any nasty artifacts that sometimes happen with sidechain compression. And also, this is often done with VSTs such as Shaperbox or LFO tool. But this way we're just using Live 11 native devices. Okay, so take a look at this ride. This sidechain is really obvious and we're docking every quarter note. And once you have this set up, all you need to do is just, you can drag these points here to adjust the curve of your sidechain. But first of all, we can disable this and just make it from scratch. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening, and now let's get back to your tutorial. So let's go to audio effects and let's just take Shaper and by default it doesn't actually generate any sound, but we need to link it to something and the most obvious thing is to link it to utility. So we go utility and we go to map and we go to gain and now you can see that our shaper is modifying the gain of the utility but first of all the curve of our shaper spiky it doesn't it's not like sidechain compression it's not ducking it's more like boosting at the, at the moment so we can actually reverse that by clicking on these different shapes over here let's go to the second one and now you can see that we're going from all the way down here with this gain knob all the way up so maybe let's not go over 0 dB we don't actually want to boost the signal so let's go to 50% here and now you'll see that we're only going down so we're only ducking the volume and with this control over here we can see how much we want this to go down so maybe let's just go to 30% or so and now it should be around minus 10 dB at most. And also we might want to change up this curve so you can drag these points here. If we don't want the grid to be in place, we can turn off the snap and we can just drag this to be exactly as we want it to be. So now the right should be side chained already. So let's take a listen. Without. And with. And this is really, really easy to set up and you only need to set it up once. So if you group it and you call it volume pump or sidechain, 
you can save it and basically drop it on any track whenever you need sidechain. And grouping is done by selecting the devices uh, with shift and clicking the names and then command and G on Mac or control and G on Windows. All right, that's really, really simple. Thank you guys very much for watching. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy. We've got a lot of start to finish courses on there for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you liked this video, leave a like and leave a comment and I will see you in the next ones.